Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about doing a clean install of uh, Mavericks and Mavericks server. Now uh, in previous screencasts I showed you how to do uh, the upgrade uh, and how to walk through that process, but for some of you you may want to do a clean install. Maybe your machine's not running the way you want it to or you just like to start fresh and just kind of wipe everything out and start again. Uh, as I said previously, you'll want to make sure that you have uh, backed up all of your data uh, from your computer so that you don't have uh, any data loss when you do this, because what I'm going to walk you through is actually going to erase your hard drive and start over. So I just wanted to let you know that, but uh, let me just show you how this is going to work. So what I'm going to do is, instead of uh, booting from an external drive uh, right away and then uh, you know, wiping your hard drive on your Mac and, and starting over that way. What I'm going to do is create a, a USB stick that I can boot into the OS X installer. And so I want to show you how to do that and walk you through that process of what the, upgrade, uh, of what the clean install looks like. So here we are on uh, Disk Utility, and you can see I've got my USB stick over here. Now, I don't need all of this space uh, on this USB stick to have the installer run. Uh, usually it's recommended you know, somewhere between around 8 gigabytes. I think the installer itself is like 5.5 or something, but um, you know, somewhere, so somewhere in that zone, 7 and 8. So I need to partition this, uh, this USB stick here so that I can make that work. So what I'm going to do is go over here to Partition. And uh, I'm going to make two partitions out of this. I'm going to make one that's the installer and one that is just for storage on this USB stick. So uh, as you can see, I can highlight one of them. You see it's made it equally in half, and I don't want that. So I'm just going to kind of shrink it down here. Um, I'll, go right, I'll go right around 8 just to be safe. So if in the future, if OS X grows, I don't have to re continue to repartition this. So I'll leave it right there. Uh, I'm going to call this first uh, partition uh, just, you know, OS X uh, install, let's say. All right, so I got OS X install on that. And then for this one, I'm just going to call it storage because that's really what I'm going to use it for. Uh, so let's make it storage. Okay, so now I've got two partitions. I've got this one that's right around 8 gigs and then the rest of it going here. Now, what I want to make sure is I want to go into the options here and just make sure that it's the G, uh, GUID uh, partition table because that's what I need to make it bootable. Uh, I'm going to check it on this one as well just because I want to have it the same on both. Okay, that's great. want to make sure that it's OS X extended journaled and make sure that that's right. And then from here, all I've got to do now is click Apply. And so it's telling me it's going to actually partition the drive. I say Partition. And so now it's creating those partitions, uh, it's setting them up, and pretty soon I'll see two uh, partitions over here under my uh, memory stick. So I'm going to let this run, and once it's done, we'll come back and take a look at uh, what it looks like. Okay, so here we are. You can see that the, uh, the two partitions are already set up, so we're ready to go. So we're done with this part. Now let me just pop this down. What you're going to need to do next is to pull up uh, the App Store. And you're going to want to download uh, a copy of Mavericks again. You can see that I've got it right here with the download button. So you want to start that download process so that you have uh, Mavericks uh, actually in your applications folder because we're going to use this uh, install uh, disk to be able to create the uh, recovery uh, disk that we want to put together. So you can see it says it's already installed on this computer. Uh, are you sure you want to do it? Uh, we're going to say go ahead and say continue. It's going to ask us to log in. And there we go. So now it's downloading. And so we're in the process now of downloading that. Once that's finished downloading, then I'll show you how we can create uh, the USB stick that we can boot from to be able to do the clean install. Okay, so here you can see that uh, everything is uh, downloaded. It just finished it. Let me just put this down. Uh, let's pull up a finder window here. And you can see in our applications folder, we have this install OS X Mavericks. And that's what we need to be able to create the, uh, the recovery drive. So we've got that right there. So let me just put this down. What we're going to do now is download a utility uh, called DiskMaker X. And so this is a, uh, a free application. Uh, it does, he does ask for donations, so it's free to use, but uh, I'd recommend uh, donating some money for all the effort that he put into this. And basically what it does is it builds an OS X boot disk for you, and it'll build it right on a, right on a thumb drive and put it together for you. And so you can choose languages, uh, English or French, uh, but right here we're going to just click here to download uh, DiskMaker X. And again, it says it's com compatible with Maverick. So let's just download this and start that process of the download. You can see now uh, it's gone up there. It's going to download uh, this application. And once it's done, uh, we'll pull it up and start to make the boot disk. Okay, now that Disk Maker has been downloaded, you can see here it's in my downloads. I'm just going to double-click the disk image. Let me just put this down here, move this up here. 
And so now it's going to launch into uh, Disk Maker. Let me just move that right here. And what we're going to do is put uh, Disk Maker into our Applications folder. Let's just drag this down here. And it's going to install it for us. And you can see that it's going through that. And now it's done. So let me just put this down. We're going to go uh, back into the Finder here. And let's go find uh, the Disk Maker Finder. Okay, you can see it's right here in my Applications folder. Here's uh, Disk Maker X. So we're going to double click on that to launch it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open it. And here it is. And so it's a very simple application. It says, which version of OS X do you wish to make a boot disk of? So it will do it for Lion, Mountain Lion, and for Mavericks. And obviously, for this screencast, uh, we're looking at doing Mavericks. So we're going to click Mavericks here. And it says, it found a copy of the installer in our Applications folder. Do we wish to use this copy? And so, yes, that's what we want to do. Uh, so we're going to use this copy. Now, it guess, asks us which kind of disk we're going to use. So if you have an 8 gigabyte USB thumb drive already, you would click this option. Now, what it's going to do is erase the entire thumb drive. So now, earlier, I partitioned the thumb drive. So I don't want it to erase the entire thumb drive. I just want it to uh, use one partition on it. So I'm going to click this Use Other Kind of Disk. But if you have an 8 gigabyte uh, USB thumb drive, you would click this, and then it would get started. Uh, for us, I'm going to click Another Kind of Disk. And so then it's going to ask me what I want to use. And so you can see my two partitions there. I'm going to use this OS X install partition and say choose, uh, choose this disk. Now it says warning that the whole contents of the volume are going to be erased. So it's going to erase the OS X install and uh, start over and create this boot disk. Well, that's what I want to do because that's the right volume. So I'm just going to create erase and uh, create the disk. So it says the next step will ask for the administrator privileges to build the install disk. So you want to type that in. So that's what we want to do. We're going to uh, go ahead then and click uh, click continue. So now it's going to ask for my, uh, my username and password. Uh, this is my administrator password to make this happen. So I'm going to go ahead and put this information in and then come back and show you what it looks like. Okay. So now that I've got it put in there, I'm just going to click OK. And you can see it's uh, copying the files. It erased my disk, and now it's copying the files, and it's going to uh, create the uh, boot disk for me. So I'm going to let this run uh, as it's going through the process, and we'll come back and see what it looks like uh, on the other side. Okay, now the uh, boot disk has been created. You can see here it says that it's ready to go. Uh, again, if you've enjoyed it, to make a donation. So I'd encourage you to do that uh, just to help the developer out so this great tool keeps going. Uh, you can also, it says you can uh, basically start by holding down the Option key uh, when you restart your Mac, and it'll boot into that drive. Or you can open uh, Disk Preferences and change the startup volume. Uh, let me show you uh, what it looks like here in the Finder. You can see that now in the Finder, I've got uh, an OS X install disk. Remember, I, I called it OS X install. Uh, this actually changed it to OS 10.9 install disk, so it names it for you, uh, which, which that's convenient. You can see I've got all the installer information here, and my storage partition is still available, so it did not erase that from my thumb drive as well. So that, uh, that gives you an idea of what uh, Disk Maker does, and so now the next step uh, to do a clean install uh, would just be to reboot the Mac and hold down the Option key. Okay, so I booted into the uh, by holding down Option, and so as a result, it allows me to pick which drive that I want to boot my operating system from. And so the one that I want to use is the one uh, right over here uh, on the side here, this one right here, because uh, this was the thumb drive that we put together. So I'm going to select this and then basically just hit enter on the keyboard. Now it's important to understand that uh, if you do this uh, you'll probably need a wired uh, keyboard and mouse uh, sometimes to make that selection because the Bluetooth uh, doesn't work yet because it's not turned on. So just a little suggestion on that if you're going to do it. So let's go ahead and boot into this drive. Okay so here we have booted right into the OS 10 utilities and so I can either click install a uh, new copy of OS X or disk utility. And so what we want to do is we want to do a clean install. So I'm going to select disk utility and click continue. And what it's going to do is actually load uh, the disk utility for me. It's going to show all of my drives. And you can see that uh, basically I've got, uh, this is the thumb drive that I had. It looks very similar to everything we saw before uh, in disk utility. Uh, this is my storage uh, drive right here, and this was the main hard drive. So what I want to do is I want to take uh, this drive here, and I want to repartition uh, it. So I'm going to come over here to Partition. 
And uh, what I'm going to do is, actually, I think instead I'll just do an erase. So what we're going to do is erase the drive. Uh, I still want it as one partition. I just want to erase it so that it is uh, clean. And I'm going to call it uh, exactly what I called it before. So let me type that in. Okay, so now that I've got that set, I've got it OS 10 extended journal, just like I wanted it to be before. You can see there's various ways to do that, but that's how I want to do it. And then all I've got to do then is click erase. It says make sure you want to do that, and I'm going to say yes I do, so I'm going to erase it. And you can see it going through the process now, reformatting it, mounting the disk. And when it's done, I should have a clean hard drive. Again, when you do this, all your data is gone, so there's nothing, uh, nothing left on there. So you can see everything's good now. I've got my server hard drive here, so I'm good to go. Uh, it has, uh, if I just click on it, you can see it's got the full capacity available, so that's erased and formatted and ready to go. One of the things you might want to check is down here. You can check, you want to make sure it's that GUID partition table, because that's what you need to be able to boot uh, from the drive. So now I'm just going to close uh, Disk Utility, come back here. I'm going to click Install. We're going to install a new copy of OS X. That's what I want to do. We'll click Continue. And now it has booted right into the installer just like we've seen before. So let's go ahead and walk through the installer process. It's going to click Continue. Need to agree to the licensing agreement, which I agree to. Now you have to select the drive that you want to install the operating system on. Now remember, this was my secondary drive. This is the drive I just created, so this is the one I want to use. Uh, you can see there's my thumb drive storage, and you can see right here the installer. So I'm going to use this particular drive, this one that I just created. We're going to click Install. And so now it's going to start the process of installing uh, OS X on this server uh, hard drive. So we're going to let that run. Uh, it's going to take a, a little while. You can see it's preparing to install. The computer's going to start uh, restart automatically. Uh, we'll see how long it takes to get all the components on there. But I'll let it run, and when it's done, we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, so we're just about at the end here. We're going to get a restart here in a minute. This is about a second remaining. So we will uh, we'll wait till it gets all the way down there and see what happens. Okay, so it's rebooted. Now it's continuing the uh, install. You can see it's going to take me about 24 more minutes uh, to have the install finished. So I'm going to uh, let the installer run. Uh, just like I did before, and this is part of the process, it usually boots twice. So we'll let it run, and uh, when it's just about finished, we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, so here we are. You can see that everything is installed, and so here we are on the setup screen. So uh, we're going to pick our country here, our keyboard uh, layout. We'll click Continue. Then it asks if we want to transfer information uh, to this Mac. So if you've got a, another Mac or a Time Machine backup or something that you want to transfer the information from, you can do that uh, through the Migration Assistant. You can also do it later. Uh, we're just going to say Continue right here. We're not going to transfer anything right now. Then it asks you to sign in with your Apple ID to get everything set up. So let me just put that in here for a second. Okay, so I put my information in there. Just click Continue. Now it asks if you want to allow iCloud to use the location for Find My Mac. I'm just going to go ahead and allow that. So now it's setting up uh, all of the different uh, details here. Now we have the uh, terms and conditions. So on the terms and conditions, we just need to agree to those. So we're going to say agree. And again, it just says um, that you've agreed to the license for all of those things and for Game Center and privacy terms. So we just click agree. Okay, now it's going to have you create a computer account, and this would be your uh, main account. It would be the one that you use as admin uh, to sign into the computer. And so you want to fill in all your information, so I'm going to do that, and then we'll continue. Okay, now that I have my information filled out, uh, you can put a hint in if you want to. Uh, you can also require a password to unlock the screen, which is something that you definitely want to have checked for security, and allow your Apple ID to reset uh, the password. Uh, so you can actually put in the Apple ID with that password to reset it as well. I'm going to leave that checked. Uh, it also has uh, the options of setting the time zone based on your current location, which again, because I said it was okay for uh, iCloud to use back to my, uh, not back to my Mac, but iCloud to use the uh, location services. It's going to, it knows where I'm at, so it'll set the time. And whether or not I want to send diagnostic data to Apple to help improve that. And that's up to you whether you want to do that or not. Uh, you can check it or uncheck it. I'm going to click continue. 
Okay, then it's got uh, iCloud Keychain, which allows you to keep your passwords and everything safe and then sync between all your devices. This is a new feature in Mavericks. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and set it up now so I can show you what it looks like. Now, uh, to set it up, uh, I can approve it from one of my other devices uh, or use uh, an iCloud security code. And so I'm going to, um, I'll probably just, uh, I'll, I'll approve from another device. Let's see if that works. Okay, so it's already sent that off. So that's, that's letting me know that it's done that already. So I'm just going to click OK. And now it asks if I want to register this Mac or not. And again, if it's a brand new Mac, uh, you can register it. Uh, I'm not going to register because I've already done that. So I'm just going to click Don't Register and click Continue. It says, am I sure that I want, don't want to do that? So I'm going to say Don't Register and click Continue. And now it's going to set up my computer for me. Okay, so it's setting up all of the pieces here and launches me right into a uh, fresh desktop uh, all set up with Mavericks and you can see all of the uh, typical icons down there on the bottom and there you go with the clean install. So uh, that gives it to you, that shows you how to do uh, a clean install of Mavericks. But that's all I've got for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.